y'all so i am back and this is going to be a video on this hair hopefully the grass cutting people don't come back right here because i've been sitting here waiting for them to move so let's jump into this video so i can tell you guys about this hair okay. uh This hair is from a company called I Show Hair. So this is the box. And this is a lace front wig that came constructed. It is a 13 by four lace front wig. It is 26 inches and it was straight. So this is the bag. And then you just get like this netted wig cap. That's all it came with. And then the box, of course. So with this hair, I did trim it a little bit just to make the ends look a little bit more full, but the hair definitely still has length to it and it definitely still falls at a nice length. I really wanted to do like a deep side part with this hair. Since it is 13 by four, I could not make it as deep as I really wanted to, but I feel like it still came out cute. So I did this side part style. I will do another style um, on this hair for you dolls, probably just like a middle part. So yeah if you want to see how i got this hair like this oh and also i did put my lace down without using a blow dryer at all so i think this is really good like if you're out of town or something um and yeah you need to lay down your lace or even if you just have to retouch and you don't have a blow dryer you can do this method it's really kind of like duh cooch but some people might not even know that you could do this so yeah stay tuned for the video if you guys want to see how i did this hair Okay, dolls, so you can see here that I'm starting off with the Got To Be Glued hairspray, and I'm just using this to spray down the perimeter area and spray the lace down. So I'm spraying directly onto the lace, onto my skin to tack it down, and I'm not going to use a blow dryer whatsoever. I feel like sometimes when you use a blow dryer and gel and everything like that, it gets really gunky looking on the lace, and you end up having to take off your wig and wash it and everything like that and then reinstall it so that it can look really fresh. But with this method, since you aren't using any heat or any gel, just the hairspray, the lace will stay looking pretty clean and everything like that. So you will see that more so whenever we do the second video because I had had the hair on for quite a bit at that point. So what I'm just doing is spraying down the whole perimeter and then I'm gonna go in and tie the hair down. You can use any scarf that you have laying around. This one was close, so that's what I used. And then you just want to let that dry, go do something, and then come back to your hair. So now I'm just combing everything out to kind of detangle it. And then I'm going to go in and start making a part in my hair. I did want a side part, like a deep side part. So I'm just going to go ahead and part it off on the side in a curved type of motion. But what I did end up doing was moving my part over a bit. So right here, you know, you don't really have to part it if you don't want to begin with. If you just want to start laying your baby hairs, you can because I did go back in and repart the hair anyway. But this kind of just gave me a foundation to know where I was going with this style. So after I part it off, you can kind of see where the lace and the tracks start it. And the tracks start up pretty close on the side. So I didn't be able to I wasn't able to part the hair as far back as I would have liked to but you know this works so what I did is I just went in with my eyebrow razor and start cutting off the extra hair around the edges to make some baby hairs and then I'm gonna go in with my wrapping mousse and do my little baby hair swoops on the edges so I just did two on the sides and then I'm gonna do one on the other side where the actual swoop part of the hair is at so now I'm going in with my hot comb and just kind of combing everything into place so that I can kind of see how everything is flowing and start to train the hair to go the way that I want it to go without using my wax stick at all because I did go back in and repart the hair. So I didn't want to define it too much that it was just going to be stuck the way that it was. So I'm going to use the wax stick later. But now I'm just taking another little section out and then I'm going to go back in with the eyebrow razor, trim that down, and then lay it down with the wrapping mousse and my little edge brush once again to get a little swoop on this side just to polish the look off and make it look really good. Like, I don't know, this is just what I like to do. You don't have to do baby hairs if you don't want to, but I feel like it just looks really cute with this look. And this look definitely gave me like a vibe as far as how I used to wear my hair whenever I had 
a relaxer. Like a deep side part was always my thing. But you know, baby hairs was not popping like they are now back then. So baby hairs wasn't laid like this back in the day. But yeah. So now I'm just going to go back in and tie that down so that my baby hairs can mold into place. And now you can see I have let them dry and how they look. So now I'm going back in and reparting the hair off. I'm kind of just parting it right in between where those two baby hairs are. And then I'm going to start curving the part around. As you can see, I'm making a curve with it instead of just doing like a straight back part. And I'm also going to curve it going around towards the back as well and kind of make a part in the back also instead of just having like a part on the side i hope y'all understand what i'm saying it's kind of hard to explain but you can kind of see i did a part going all the way around for the swoop area so now i'm just taking my hot comb and kind of laying it down so i can see how everything is flowing and then after i do this i'm gonna go back in and reflat iron the hair just to polish it off and make everything look nice and sleek and then we will go in with the wax stick and lay everything down to really mold it into place. So I'm just kind of showing you here how I flat ironed the hair, but it was already previously flat ironed. So now I'm taking my wax stick and just applying that to the parted area so that all of those little flyaways and everything like that will be more tamed. And then you can really see the definition of the part to lay everything down nice and flat if you don't have a hot comb and a wax stick or anything like that you can just use some mousse or water <clears throat> to go ahead and lay it down and tie the hair down that works as well but a hot comb is a must whenever you're wearing glaze wigs and stuff because it just makes things so much easier but be careful with it because honey when it burns it burns so I did kind of do that little push over thing with the swoop part but I did change that later on and now I'm going in to trim off the ends you can see how the ends kind of look a little straggly and not as full so I did cut off a little bit of length so that I would have more fuller looking ends and just a nice sleek look to the hair so I did trim it off but I still had a nice length to the hair. Like it didn't take off too much that the hair wasn't, you know, it's not short or anything like that. I just trimmed it off. So now I'm going back in with the hot comb and just relaying everything. And where I have some of those little flyaway hairs, I'm just taking some mousse and kind of laying those down into place. So I use the hot comb and I also use some mousse. I didn't tie it down with the scarf to flatten it out because it was already pretty flat from the flat iron. But you can see like those little stray hairs that are sticking out. The mousse helps to tame those and really lay those down. So you can kind of see here how the finished look is looking so far. It's nice and sleek, very straight and silky. But I want to define the part even more and define all of it. So I'm going to go in with my foundation powder and I'm just putting that on the areas where the lace is showing it. And... As you can see, it definitely looks ghostly at first, but like in the intro, once you let everything melt into place, it will look like how it did in the intro of the video as well as in the outro, which you will see once again at the end of the video. So I'm just kind of going through anywhere where the hair is parted at and applying the powder and also anywhere where the lace is showing, like where I have my baby hairs and stuff like that to make the lace match with my skin tone and everything like that a lot more. And also another thing that I did was I went in and pulled out some of the hair to further define the part and kind of like widen it and make it look a little bit more natural because the part was, you know, kind of small and close together. So I'm just kind of like parting off little sections of the hair and then just pulling them out. You can use a tweezer to go ahead and tweeze these out. But for me, whenever I'm doing this like making my part wider i prefer to just go in and pull them out but be careful if you do this method so now i'm going back in with my mousse to just go right on top of any areas where i applied the powder so that the powder can melt into my skin just like you would do after you do your makeup you set with a setting um spray and that helps everything to melt into place so it's not all ghostly right here you can still see one little area that's looking a little ashy but I did go back in and put a little bit more and it will fade away. So now you can see how the hair looks. It's nice and silky. It looks very healthy. The ends look nice and everything like you got you a fresh trim. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this style.
Okay, doll, so this is the completed look. I did go to the gym after I did my hair in the video and I sweated it out. It lifted just a little bit, but I just went back in with a little bit of spray and tied it down. And mostly it lifted kind of like underneath here and on the side. So not a big deal. And I just pulled the hair back in a low ponytail and the hair was perfectly fine. I ran the flat iron over it again and it still looks really good. And trust me, y'all. I be sweating at the gym because I got a trainer and he be killing me, okay? So this hair lasted through the gym. He wanted me to get in a sauna and I was like, no sir, because I'm scared that my wig will literally sweat off if I go sit in a sauna, but it probably would have been fine. So yeah, this is the completed look of the hair. So I came back to you guys or you dolls the next day to beat my face and show you the full look together because I feel like you just get the vibe whenever you like get a little done up you know so yeah this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have questions leave them down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye dolls